well, and I don't usually answer these night of, but I'm going to answer this one because it just came in where there's smoke, there's a fire somewhere. What's up with the smell of smoke here in the air in La Quinta? We're assuming there's fire in the area, but there's no mention of it on the other news outlets. Still enjoying your show and your approach to relevant news, Joan and Tim Swift. Okay, so we checked. First of all, there was a fire in Cathedral City last night about 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't know if that smell is lingering because we just went to Riverside County, checked the incidents report, and there is no report of fire at this time anywhere in the Coachella Valley. We talked uh, about the plan to add more pickleball courts at Demuth Park in Palm Springs. There have been public meetings on this with a majority of people in favor. We went out there and shot some video last week because some of you suggested parking will be a problem and more people would make things more congested. Lee Lightfoot in Desert Hot Springs and some other people have a bigger concern that never crossed my mind. Apparently, they'd have to take out 15 mature trees. This is a petition started on change.org to prevent the destruction of the trees. It's well laid out and it's well written. If you would like to weigh in, go to change.org. The goal is 500 signatures. And when I last checked, there were 434. If there's one thing we know about life, it's not fair. And oftentimes, it's not equal. A lawmaker in California would like to see that corrected when it comes to education. Here is the idea. In order for a university to receive state grants, it would have to stop legacy admissions. Just because a family member went to school there, that doesn't automatically guarantee another family member will gain admission. Stephanie, I'll start with you this time. Uh, what do you think of this? Is it a good idea? Well, I think if you don't, if you want to accept legacy uh, students because you probably are getting a great big donation from the alumni, then don't take the state money or the federal money. And I think it's just a decision the school needs to make. I think the state and the feds need to get out of these kinds of decisions for schools. But uh, either way, I think it's up to the school to take the money or not take the money. Jimmy, what do you think? I agree with Stephanie as far as the, the money talks, obviously, if they don't want to follow what what the state wants them to do, then you don't have to take these grants. But is it a good idea? A level playing field is a beautiful thing. For a student to be accepted on his or her own terms, uh, many people don't want to go on the coattails of their parents or get in because of the legacy situation. They like to get, a, get in on their own merit the hard work that got them to that point. So I don't think it's a bad thing. Yeah, well, if, if they don't want to go in in a legacy situation, they don't have to. They can certainly right. jump out and try to do whatever they want to do. Truth of the matter is, it is tough to get into certain schools. My kids uh, all went to college, and I remember that period of time where they were trying to decide what school they'd get into, and everybody agonized and worried about it, and then, you know, their friends got into some schools, they didn't get into the others. You want to know something? After your freshman year, half the time you transfer out anyway. So you've gone through this agony for absolutely nothing. And I just wonder, as we talk about, you know, legacy and money, I think the bigger issue here is, and trust me, I know, you think kids can afford to go to school. I mean, it, those costs now, Jimmy, are prohibitive. Well, who knows, you know, the, the way as fast as our financial system is changing and and uh, what's going on with the dollar around the world and and uh, the inflation and everything else, Lord knows what anything's going to cost next year. So that is, that's, that's a big yellow light there, Fred. That's a question that I don't think anyone can really answer. Steph? I think the schools are making huge mistakes in all of these decisions on who can and cannot go to their school based on their race or their gender or their legacy. I say go back to when I was trying to get into college and it was all about my grades and my community service and if I fit the profile of the school based on my essays and my interviews. So, you know what, stop you know, dividing people and stop putting people into silos and just let's look at the kids intent when they go to college. All right. Nice job. And obviously, Jimmy got out of here a little soon. Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs>